Welcome to Liquid Lunch. I'm Sabar Athar, two drinks in. And I'm Celeb Buzz editor Gabby Chung, one drink in. That is cameraman Hogan, and that is producer Timothy. The first thing we're going to be talking about today is the Fifty Shades of Grey casting news that came out on Monday, which, by the way, was Labor Day, which I thought was really rude, rude. because I was vacationing, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, by the way, here we have Charlie Hunnam playing what's his name, Christian Grey." And Dakota Johnson playing Anastasia Steele. Mm -hmm. Gabby, how do you feel about these choices? I mean, it's not really the best considering I was really bored with all of Charlie's parts in Pacific Rim. But who knows? Judging from yeah. this photo over here, we might see something great. There's like a lot. Ots also, he was really magical in Undeclared, and Nicholas Nick will be long to go in my mm -hmm. life. Also, fun fact. Dakota Johnson is now shooting Cymbeline in New York City, which I think is funny because it's one of Shakespeare's lesser performed plays that she just happens to be in, and she was hanging out that window in her underwear. So you can clearly see she is already getting into the mindset yeah. of Anastasia. She's getting Steel. ready. There was a petition online because a lot of people were really upset about the fact that Charlie and Dakota were playing those characters. Mm -hmm. So there was a full-on petition to get Matt Bomer and Alexis Bledel cast in the parts. Matt Bomer? You mean Matt Boner in my pants? Hey! Matt Bomer, let's face it, is a very, very good looking guy. So beautiful. Oh my god. Also, Alexis Bledel, Rory Gilmore, owns my heart. All right, also happening this week, Katy Perry's Roar music mm -hmm. video. Gabby, what'd you think? I think it's great to be seeing a two to three minute Herbal Essence commercial. <laughs> it's great. It was. Loved Her it. hair looked really good. She wasn't wearing a lot of lipstick though. But let's but then face at the it, end, she made it no one was paying attention to that hair. They were paying attention to the this. Boo. Hello. That's you know that's, great that's what John Mayer sees every morning. Perhaps every night. <laughs> Perhaps the all the time. I'm sorry, yeah. what was that, producer Tom? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In a leopard skin bikini. Yeah. Yeah. You can clearly tell what Tomothy, the producer, is focusing yeah, yeah. on. No, but really, the best part of the video is when, for no reason, she makes friends with Parrot. Yeah, or paints an elephant's toe. Or paints toe. an elephant's toenails. I'm pretty sure, I hope that's not like some sort of animal cruelty or know. something and PETA will be like, you're testing beauty products Guys, on animals. We're, we're going to hear her roar. Tiff. And Gabby's really excited about TIFF. Why, it's Gabby? Because it's in my hometown of Tirana. So some of the super exciting things happening at TIFF are this man right here, Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch, who has three movies happening at TIFF right now. It is his real name. Yeah. Yeah. He's Very got 12 finished. Years a Slave, The Fifth Estate, and August Osage County. I'm super excited about all three, particularly August Osage County, because I saw it with the original Broadway cast, and I'm hoping that it exceeds my expectations. Come on, just look at this man right I here. I know, you can't really go He's wrong. He's like the British specimen, the epitome yeah. of a British gentleman. I love him. Yeah, I love you. Shut up. You're just <laughs> jealous. <'cause laughs> he's Tom, Tom doesn't count because he's jealous because he's also British. Yeah. Also, at yeah. tip right now is Michael Fassbender, who is starring in 12 Years a Slave. Yeah, and we all know him because if we've all seen Shame, damn, Ooh. that business down there. I don't think we'll be seeing that in 12 Years a Slave. Dang. Something tells me that movie about a slave um, is not, will not have that, which makes me sad. And finally, Tom Hiddleston. He has the movie I'm most excited about, Only Lovers Left Alive, starring him and Tilda Swinton as vampires in a movie directed by Jim Jarmusch. Let that sink in for a second. Strangers in Paradise, Who Coffee and that? Cigarettes, Broken Flowers. Anyway, thank you for joining us on this week's Liquid Lunch. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to come back next week and tell us what you thought in the comments below. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs>